The Big Valley was an American Western drama series that ran for four seasons on ABC from 1965 to 69. Set in the fictional Barkley Ranch in Stockton, California in the late 19th century, the series followed the lives of the wealthy Barkley family. While in today's entertainment, the wealthy and powerful are often portrayed as villains, the Barkley family was portrayed the most upstanding citizens of Stockton and were presented as role models, upholding justice and fairness. The 1960s was the height of a Western craze in TV, with many dramas taking place in the Old West. Big Valley was one of the more popular of this genre. In 1966, it was ranked as one of the top five favorite new shows, amongst I Dream of Jeannie, Get Smart, Lost in Space, and F Troop. But despite its popularity at the time, its ratings never made it to the top 30 in the yearly ratings chart. By 1969, the Western craze began to wane, and the series was canceled after four seasons. You may remember the series, but you likely didn't keep up with the actors who brought this Western to life. In this video, we'll take a look back at who the cast members were and how each of them died. Barbara Stanwyck Barbara Stanwyck was an iconic actress who had a 60-year career in film and TV. She appeared in over 80 films known for portraying strong-willed women. In The Big Valley, she played Victoria Barclay, the widow of Thomas Barclay. Her character was the head of the fictional Barclay family, and Stanwyck's refusal to portray the character as fragile was controversial at the time. Stanwyck transformed the character from an elegant lady of the house to a tough, jeans-wearing cowgirl. Stanwyck was born Ruby Stevens, and her life had led her to be as tough in real life as on screen. She had a troubled childhood. Her mother died when she was only four, and her father abandoned her and her four siblings. Consequently, Stanwyck was raised by her older sister, who was a showgirl. At age nine, she started smoking, and by 14, she had dropped out of school. She began her career in show business at 15, becoming a chorus girl. Later, this led to her Broadway debut in 1926 as a cabaret dancer in The Noose. She changed her name and made the transition from Broadway to silver screen in the late 20s. Her breakthrough role came in 1930 with the film Ladies of Leisure. This role showed a progressive, stronger side of women that wasn't often portrayed in films at the time, and it led to a string of strong female lead characters for her. Along with other Golden Age actresses like Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, Stanwyck helped redefine the role of women in Hollywood. After a long and successful film career, Stanwyck found her way to TV. Her role as the matriarch in the Big Valley made her one of the most popular actresses on television and earned her an Emmy. After the series' cancellation, she continued to play TV roles for the rest of her career. Stanwyck was married twice, once in 1928 to her burlesque co-star, Frank Fay. The couple adopted a 10-month-old son in 1932. Faye was reportedly physically abusive to Stanwyck, especially when he'd been drinking. Some claim their union was the basis for the 1937 film A Star is Born. The couple divorced in 1935, and Stanwyck won custody of their son. She remarried in 1939 to another co-star, Robert Taylor. Their marriage was partly arranged by the film studio MGM, a common practice in the golden age of Hollywood. They mutually decided to divorce in 1950, and Stanwyck never remarried. One of her closest friends was her Big Valley co-star, Linda Evans. After a long career as both a Hollywood starlet and Emmy-winning TV actress, Stanwyck spent her retirement years as active as ever, involved in charity work. She died in 1990 at age 82 of congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. According to her wishes, her ashes were scattered from a helicopter over Lone Pine, California, where some of her Western movies had been filmed. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Fact First if you haven't already. Richard Long Richard Long played the eldest son of the Barkley family, Jared Barkley. The character was a veteran of the Union Army and a well-respected attorney. Long began his acting career as a teen after he caught the eye of a talent scout during a play at Hollywood High School. He made his big screen debut in Tomorrow is Forever. He had a flourishing film career throughout the 40s until, in 1950, he was drafted into the U.S. Army to fight in the Korean War. Two years later, he was honorably discharged. Upon his return, he continued his film career and starred in a dozen films from 1952 to 64. But his personal life during this time had its fair share of hardships. In 1953, he met his future wife, Susan Ball, Lucille Ball's second cousin, 
and an actress in her own right. They met shortly after she had been diagnosed with cancer after doctors discovered several tumors in her legs. Three months before their wedding, she lost her right leg to the cancer. The couple married in 1954, Ball walking down the aisle on an artificial leg. Several celebrities attended their wedding, including Rock Hudson, Tony Curtis, Jeff Chandler, Janet Lee, and David Jansen. Sadly, the cancer came back, this time in her lungs, and Long lost his wife after only 14 months of marriage. Long began his TV career in the detective series Bourbon Street Beat. The show ran for one season, but Warner Brothers shifted Long and his character to a different detective series, 77 Sunset Strip. Over the years, he guest starred in a number of shows. Then, in 1965, he starred in another one, The Big Valley. He expressed his love of the series, believing the characters had more emotional depth than what was typically depicted on a TV series at the time. After the cancellation of the show, Long went on to play several other memorable roles, mainly in Nanny and the Professor, which ran from 1970 to 71. His personal life had its ups and downs. Two years after the death of his first wife, he married model and actress Mara Corday in 1957. The couple had three children. Later in life, Corday said that Long couldn't stand to see her work in the same industry as him. At one point, the producer of The Big Valley suggested she do a guest appearance, but Long apparently refused to allow it. In 1961, he was arrested after Corday accused him of attacking her while drunk. The same year, some health issues began to become apparent. When he was younger, he had suffered from pneumonia, which weakened his heart and caused him to have a heart attack. Though he recovered, his heavy drinking and smoking caught up with him, and in 1974, he had another heart attack. He spent a month in the hospital and died on December 21st, four days after his 47th birthday. Peter Breck Peter Breck played the role of Nick Barkley, the hot-tempered middle child. In the series, he always wore a black leather vest, large black hat, and black leather gloves, and was distinguished by his loud demeanor. Though he played tough on the outside, his character could also be fun-loving and caring. A report stated Breck was the fastest gun draw in Hollywood. His ability to draw his gun is said to have taken a sixteenth of a second, making his character on the Big Valley the fastest shooter in TV history. The ruggedly handsome Breck played in several TV westerns in addition to the Big Valley. He played the gunfighter Doc Holliday in Maverick and played the starring role in NBC's Black Saddle. Later, he moved to Vancouver and started his own acting school, the Breck Academy. He married dancer Diane Bourne in 1960. In 2010, his wife announced on his website he had been suffering from dementia and he would no longer be able to answer fan letters or sign autographs. Two years later, she announced he was hospitalized and that same year he died at age 82. Douglas Kennedy. Douglas Kennedy portrayed Sheriff Fred Madden. He was a character actor who played a number of supporting roles throughout his career. His specialty was westerns, which made him a great fit for this minor but recurring character on the Big Valley. He died in 1973 of cancer at the age of 57 in Honolulu. Napoleon Whiting Napoleon Whiting played the role of Silas, the Barclays' major domo, or the head servant of the household. Though it was a typecast role, it was also a highly visible one. In several episodes, his character demonstrated the trauma of slavery and what life was like for African Americans after the Civil War. Whiting played a lot of roles in his career, though unfortunately many were uncredited. He died in 1984. His cause of death was not reported. There are two surviving cast members today. Lee Majors. Majors played the character Heath Barkley, but he's also known for his roles as Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man and Colt Seavers in The Fall Guy. He's been married four times, one of those to Farrah Fawcett in the 70s. He's still alive at age 82 and has never stopped working. His most recent role was in 2019 in the TV revival of Magnum P.I. When he's not working, he spends time with his wife, Faith Cross, where they live in Houston, Texas. Linda Evans. Linda played the role of Audra Barkley. She's known for a variety of TV roles, especially her role in the 1980s hit Dynasty. During her time on the Big Valley, Barbara Stanwyck became a mother figure to her, and they remained close until Stanwyck's passing. Today, Evans is 78 years old and recently started working again. She also often gives inspirational talks to young women. She's currently single and reportedly very happy about it. 
Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of the Big Valley? Do you remember these actors and actresses? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.